Good morning. It's Tuesday, May 13th. We've uh, got a pretty nice day ahead. It's going to warm up around here. Temperatures last few days have been cooler. Parts of the state right now, we've got snow falling and some rain falling. We've got a little bit of cloud cover along the coast, but very little. That will re reform this week. Um, and we've got temperatures today in Reading that'll make it into the mid 70s as opposed to the mid 60s like yesterday. Chico will be 75, San Francisco 63 for a daytime high for your Tuesday, Sacramento 75, Fresno 72, and LA 69 degrees. So a nice warm day. Got water going today because I got to get a blood test. So I can't eat. So you got to wait. Right? It's fasting thing. So I got to can't have coffee either. Trust me. I searched it. Can you have coffee before a fasting blood test? I said no. So this is a national map. And what do we got? Eh, you know, this interesting feature here kind of working its way out towards the northeast. That's got some stuff going on. We do have fire danger concerns around the state. We've got our old system kind of lingering down here. You'll see clear skies down by the Eagles, but Mammoth's got some activity. Actually, it's got a little snow falling up there right now. So um, just a little bit of residual activity left. So this is the visible satellite. This is a little closer up and you can pick out more features. Uh, what can you see? You can kind of see where I was talking about down around Mammoth. You got, you know, there's, those are clouds, uh, that snow as well but there's a little bit of activity there. And then up around the Northern Sierra Nevada, up around Lake Almanor, we've had snow overnight, but a couple of inches in parts of uh, Lake Tahoe, parts of uh, Northeast California, little bit of low cloud along the coast here, a little bit of fog in the valley, just a little bit of everything, but it all clears out quickly and today becomes a warmer day. So the model this week, uh, surface observations and rainfall, and you see that little bit there tonight and then it goes away and then we're dry 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 a little warmer each day highs will get into the low 80s this week but it's not going to be like last week hot and then um we'll get into right about saturday night sunday yeah saturday afternoon sunday sort of an inside slider inside slider means it's kind of not coming off the water it's coming down from Oregon, from the north. And that certainly cools things off on Sunday and Monday, but looks like it kind of misses us. But either way, so we're steady as she goes, mild spring-like weather this week. And then we get into, certainly allergies are gonna be an issue this week. And then we get into that inside slider on Saturday night, Sunday, and things cool down. And well, let's see how it looks on, um, Monday, Tuesday, so it dries out pretty quick. Yeah, it dries out pretty quick, and we're back to warming. Okay, so next week looks pretty dry as well, which is uh, appropriate for this time of year. This is the vorticity upper level, the jet stream. Let's just call it the jet stream, and you can see the movement of it. The lines, the black lines close together represent essentially where the jet stream is. But you see the motion, and you see a couple of just kind of tweaks come in, and then here comes that inside slider right here. And then there's next week. So there is no need to belabor this. Uh, anything interesting? That's kind of interesting. Yeah, so yeah, so we're, we're, we're good. It's gonna be an easy week ahead. And that deal on, that thing on the weekend could change a little bit on Saturday night, Sunday. We'll see, we'll keep an eye on that. But uh, we're into it. I think right now, I think the big story is gonna be God, the hay fever is going to be gnarly again. It's been bad. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but I've been getting lots of um, correspondents talking about the, the pollens and, and people's reactions to them. And I don't know if it's a different different deal or just the timing. You know how it is. It's Anyway, these are the highest forecast for today. Hmm, looks pretty good to me. Not bad at all. This is tomorrow. So a little bit warmer. So today... 74 in Sacramento, tomorrow 80 in Sacramento, almost 80 in Redding, 80 in Chico. But these are these are modest numbers, They're not, not far off from what I would expect for this time of year. And kind of hot down around Quartzsite and Daggett, 80s, low 80s. Today they'll be in the 70s. So a little bit of warmth coming our way. 
we move into the national map. These are the watches and warnings. The reds represent fire danger, red flag warnings. The orange, that's a big one. That represents um, heat heat concerns for sure. Wow, they're in it. So yeah, that's a lot of heat down there. We'll see the national map come up. And we'll see heat showing up in that area. Wow, I hate to see the heat stuff. Um, this is Texas, right? Because the heat stuff is, well, I always say this, and it's true, is it kills more people than any than tornadoes or hurricanes or anything. The heat, it's because it's, it's ubiquitous. It's everywhere. So when it gets hot, um, not only does it take out old people and young people and things like that, but it also exacerbates pre-existing conditions. So asthma and things like that. It's weird. Heat, and if you think about it, if you really think about it, like even when you're young and fit, Heat messes you up, but you're just fine because you're young and fit. Um, you just move through it, right? You just drink some water and get a, get a Slurpee or something. But, but you're bugged, right? So now I'm at, at put, put 20 years on that or 30 years on that or four years on that or subtract you know, little infants and stuff. So heat's it's bad mojo. It does, it does have more fatality risk than any other weather event. Some wind out here in New Mexico, wind in uh, Utah and Arizona. Hmm. Yeah, and some wind, breezy conditions along the coast. So we'll, we'll check out that heat now. This is uh, down around, oh yeah, down around um, San Antonio, 104 degrees today. Yeah, and you got to realize that 104 degrees, oh, whoops, they get humidity. And that's something, 104 degrees here, you go, yeah, whatever. Not really, but it's not that bad. Down there, you got Gulf moisture, high humidity is coming in, creating issues. Lubbock's 98 degrees today. Wow, 95 in El Paso. So real, real hot. Uh, some rain out in Washington, D.C., Norfolk, Virginia. Rain, rain in Charlotte. These are today's and um, the forecast for the rest of the day. And a little shower activity in Boise. And then Reno looks like it might have a little bit of shower activity. Hmm. So yeah, kind of nice. Kind of nice to get back into more of a spring-like pattern. This is a little bit of south swell showing up. And a little bit of a northwest swell sh showing up. The south swell is a little west southwest. Pardon me, but you kind of see how it comes. In. Remember, I told you how it wobbles in from the other the other side. Like that's a south set coming in from here. And they wobble in the south swells, and they come in this way. And the north swells that's a different swell direction. See that one? Kind of came around the point, right? I know. It's fun to watch waves, and it's it's subtle stuff. I said this the other day. It's like you kind of go. Uh, yeah, what are you talking about, South Swell? But if you watch it long enough, you'll see the different waves. And you'll see the different intervals. There's different intervals. Different swells, different intervals. So there's the North Swells probably, I would suspect, closer together in interval. Um, in, in other words, the waves are closer together. And the South Swells, there's one now, are um, would tend to be a little further apart or come in sets. Waves are set, comes in, come in sets. A good set is, you know, sometimes five to eight waves. Sets a group of bigger waves that have organized themselves out in the ocean. They're still, it's still part of the same wave field, but it just has organized itself into a group of big waves and there's little waves in between it. Um, and sets can be big, man. Oh, my God. Okay, so that's Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz, tide's barely moving, so it's a good day. It's going to be good out there all day today. Uh, swell's running about five, four to six and it's going to drop a little tomorrow but stay still you know three to four four to five there's a little bit of west southwest swell here a little bit of north swell this is halama and you can see the clouds that's interesting right that's what does that tell us what does that tell us it tells us we got cold air out there right again this is this is water that's pretty cold but this air is much colder and allowing the air the warmer sea surface, which is probably 56, 58 degrees, to bleed off, the air rises into the cooler air and condenses and you get <clears throat> cumulus clouds, which is awesome. So that's the remnants of that system that we were just looking at on the visible satellite image. Just as trussels, lowers, a um, little bit of wrong direction wind, people bumming, but they're out. I don't see them yet, but we'll find them. Yeah, there's a guy there. There's a guy there. Huh, there's nobody out. It must be really, usually it's rare to see nobody out at lowers. Guys, here, guys, paddling for a wave right there. 
Huh. Yeah, and it's kind of chunky. Hmm. All right. The wind must have really messed it up. Anyway, um, they, they should be seeing that swell a little better than they are. Truthfully, I think that wind has just messed everything up. Okay, we're going to do a little tour of the lakes. This is Lake Shastina up at Mount Shasta. Uh, Man-made in the early 60s. This place, this Mount Shasta is just over here to the right. Lake Shastina was the bomb when I was a kid. Water does not work like coffee. It was a bomb because it had just kind of become a thing. It was um, it was built in the um, yeah, I mean, early 60s. Yeah, so that when I was a kid, early 60s. And, uh, you know, they, it is man-made and golfing and it was just the high life. And it's pretty got a pretty good little climate there. Lake Shastina. A lot of these, actually, these are all man-made. This is um, Lake Almanor, really one of the prettiest lakes of all. Uh, Lake Almanor was made in 1927 when they put the canyon dam in there. Huh, 1927. That Almanor's got a, it is pretty, really clear water. I used to go there a lot as a kid, water skiing, so on and so forth. And um, today it looks cold, a little snow, didn't they? So this is up on the mountain. Mount Lassen on the other side. This is Lake Tahoe, um, not man-made, but man-influenced. And it is going to be a chilly day there. They got snow flurries last night. We'll see some snow showing up here in the southern Sierra Nevada in a minute. Um, but uh, yeah, Lake uh, Tahoe, beautiful. Or Bigler, Lake Bigler. We talked about that. Uh, Lake Bigler was, uh, this is Lake Isabella, um, built in 1950 on the Kern River. Uh, 1950s, a lot of dams, a lot of Bureau of Reclamation, a lot of dams got built in the 40s and 50s, as you know. Um, Lake Bigler, right? Bigler was the, he was a kind of a failed politician. I think he was the first governor of the state of California. And he, or somebody around him, wanted to name the Lake Bigler. So for a time, Lake Tahoe was called Lake Bigler, which would be, yeah, yeah. It's such a funny name. I mean, I'm sure the guy was a good dude, but that would, yeah, yeah, Tahoe was a much better name. And then we're at, um, where are we right now? This is Lake Paris. This is out by Meade Air Force Base. Lake Paris is obviously man-made and got a little bit of cloud cover there. And this is that system moving through. And this is snow up at Mammoth right now. Look at that. What is it? May 13th, and it's snowing up at Mammoth. So that system, productive. Again, what does it do? And this is that camera that moves a bunch. It, it really does help. The, the, any, for me, in my mind, you're, you're keeping fuel moistures uh, elevated when you get these later season rainfall and snowfall events. Um, but you're also you're helping the runoff, and every little bit counts. And, and right now, the, 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 the eight indexes, the eight station index and the six station index, are all producing, uh, the, especially the northern eight index, eight stations. They are producing above average in that kind of Southern California, below average for just the report card <clears throat> from the mountains and the, and the rivers. But it will be it will be evened out by what's going on up north. So, wow, that's kind of dramatic stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it's snow in. All right, this is some of the cloud cover down by the Eagles, uh, Big Bear Lake. Temperature Big Bear Lake today will probably go about 68 degrees, not that warm. And these are the boys and the girls. And I think they're, I don't even know if they're boys or girls. I guess they are boys and girls. Um, getting bigger. Any day, the, but I'm kind of excited because I know when they go, they come back for a few weeks, so we get to see them some more. Um, what was I thinking about the eagles today? I was thinking something about them. They eat a lot. They sleep a lot. They are uh, hopefully going to stay in that Big Bear area. Let me know what you think about that. I know you guys, there's some real eagle aficionados out there. Um, just watching them. Mom and dad seem like they, they're around, seem like they're around more, and then it seems like they're around less. Um, I guess they, yeah, they must really know how to fly before. I was going to say, because they're big. They're, those are good-sized birds. We would think that, 
you know, to fly for the first time, but I think it's just, just be so, so wired into their thinking. Okay. So snow showers in the mountains, a little bit of shower activity and warmer. Um, this week looks good. Saturday, Sunday, hmm, maybe a little, maybe a little tweak on an inside slider on Sunday, but it kind of looks like it just cools things down Sunday into Monday and maybe a little Tuesday. And then we come back to more typical. I think allergies are going to be your story this week. Uh, we'll say goodbye to the birds for now. I'll say goodbye to you for now. We'll see you back here tomorrow.